Hello, Rockheads, and welcome to Station Master Train Taiku. Now, this game was suggested to us by the one and only the bun 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 da bun da bun 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 da bun 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 da bun bun. Now, if you know, you know. If you don't know, then you probably just think I'm a freak. <laughs> but uh, I don't even think Bun knows. But yes, thank you, Bun, for the suggestion on this game. Um, according to the description, Station Master is an open world sandbox that allows you to build. Hello, Baby Rock. <laughs> allows you to build your own train station with AI guests and advanced scenery. So apparently, we can watch guests sit, shop, eat, walk through, and. Uh, basically travel on trains around the map or we can travel around trains um, around the map to play stations as well uh, we can place custom walls and floor to make the station our own now i believe it is by the same developer as uh, itty bitty railway itty bitty airport itty bitty city so i know this is a game immediately that little rock is going to like now this game is 35 robux um it is an early act well it says over here on the on the boards as well that it is whoa we can Run fast. Uh, it's still in early stages and feedback is appreciated. Hello, baby rock. I think she likes trains. <laughs> so basically, this is what it looks like when we come into the game. It is just bare minimum basics. And oh my god, it looks like we've got an awesome creation over here already. So straight away we can go ahead and create a new station. So I think because I know how much Little Rock enjoys these games, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and just, just call it uh, Little Rock Road. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to call I'm going to dedicate this to Little Rock. So create station. Hopefully it doesn't hashtag. I don't know where, where the name plate for it is, but it'll be around somewhere. It'll be around somewhere. And it looks like we are a one star straight away. So at least we've got a one star. So welcome to Station Master. It's time to build your dream railway station. Click to continue. Okay, so it looks like it's prompted us over here. It says your guests will need somewhere to sit. Place a bench in the orange box. Right, okay, so it looks like we've got a big build and menu and it looks like we've got $10,000 to our disposal so it wants a bench there so we're going to go to build where it's pointing to we're going to go for seatings and we're going to go for the basic bench i think we literally just dump it yeah literally just dump it in the box okay so you're not going anywhere without a ticket place a ticket machine in the orange box okay so it this box here is taking us back to the build menu and we're going to go ahead and place some machines down okay is that facing the right way it is indeed. Okay, this one's essential. Place a bathroom in the orange box. So it looks like we've already got two bathrooms for the PPs and the wee wees. So we're going to go back to the build menu. Bathrooms. And we're going to go ahead and place that in. And the next item is your guests may want to shop while waiting for the train. Place a bakery in the orange box. Now, we all need a bakery. If we've been to train stations, especially in the UK, we have um, a lot of bigger stations have all different types of shops. It's a bit like duty free at an airport. It's, it's pretty cool. But anyways, right, we're going in. We're going to shops. What shops have we got? We've got a coffee shop, we've got a bakery shop, uh, just basic shop counter as well, and a bunch of other things that are locked when we upgrade the station um, and get better stars. So this building looks unfurnished. Select the brick wall, then click and drag it between the orange boxes. Right, okay, so we're going to walls. Wants us to place a basic um, brick down. Okay, hang on, click and drag. Right, okay. Oh, it has actually got an arrow pointing in the middle as well, so we, we do actually drag it. Okay. Whoa, it's just yeeted us over here. Uh, let's make this platform longer. Is that a steam train? So we've got steam trains in this game as well. I thought that was literally coming around this track. Let's make this platform longer. Select the paven, then click and drag uh, between the orange boxes. Okay. So we're going to Florin. We're going for some basic paven and... Wants me to drag it over here. Okay, so yeah, that actually matches the whole length of the platform. Uh, prefabs are templates of common flooring slash wall combinations. Select the prefab stairs and place them in the, or the orange box. <laughs> right, so we're going to prefabs. Looks like we've got a bunch of different ones here as well. Right, but it wants us to pick this one. 
So we're going to go ahead and I could imagine just click because that was already kind of level with that. So we've got our peeps can now access all three platforms. Last thing this platform needs is some track. Select the platform from the build menu and place its center in the orange box. Okay, so we're going to go back here. We're going to go ahead and select the platform, which is 7.5. Oh, God. Right, okay. We're going to drop it in there. And we have now two sets of tracks. Now, I take it trains are going to be coming both this way because it looks like the one direction is all going kind of that way. So that train technically, if it does come this way now, should go onto that platform there. And it looks like our people have access to all three platforms. Okay, cool, looking good. You should see some uh, guests walking around. Press E or tap their prompts to see their thoughts on your station. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. And now I know a lot of these peeps have only just came, but we have got Emily here and our thoughts down here. Um, there are a good number of seats here. Uh, buying a ticket was easy. The shops here are great. So that's from the one and only Emily at the minute. Thoughts seem to be good. Maisie, great bathroom. So they're all happy with the bathrooms at the minute, which is uh, excellent news. Okay, I know this peeps only just walked in. Sphere, the bathrooms are stylish and functional. There are a good number of uh, ticket machines. There are a good number of seats here as well. So at the minute, Everyone's happy, and it looks like if we've gone from one star straight to a five star, but it must be because we've got all the basic kind of utilities and amenities. So let's click to continue. Tutorial complete. Earn more stars by solving guests' needs and growing your station. You earn more cash when happy guests leave on trains. Good luck. Okay, so it looks like the tutorial is actually complete now. We've got our basic set up here. So we've got a basic shop. I think we've got a coffee shop and a bakery. We've got uh, tickets. We've also got toilets. Uh, we've got security barriers as well, uh, which in the real world people would just kind of like go, yep, see you later, boom, straight on the train. Uh, we've got some trees, we've got some benches, and obviously there's a whole lot more that we can do right now so we've got a couple of different things that we can possibly do i think what i want to do first can i pop that down there i want to kind of have a look at what we've actually got so we've got the eyedropper uh, so we can click and click an object to basically copy it so what we can do is i suppose we can kind of um i don't know if we we click on that can we rotate while we're here as well? We actually can. So I'm, I'm literally just doing this just to experiment with. So if anyone's in a rush, we're just going to go ahead and dump that ticket machine right there. Um, so uh, if I cancel, there we go. Right, so we've also got paint. Uh, so it looks like we can go ahead and paint stuff. Can we paint the floor? Um, we certainly can. We can go ahead and do that as well. Build. Now, this is the bit that I want to kind of check out to see what we've actually got because we were in the tutorial before. So, we've got uh, the platforms which we did before. We've got extra seating areas. Now, if I click on that, it should bring up a bunch of different stuffs. We've got benches, we've got concrete benches, and um, obviously, as we unlock stars, we get to access different things as well. So, do we get different styles of platforms? We get, oh, we got, we've got bins and everything. So that's one thing that I don't think we've actually got. In fact, no, there is, there's bins on the platforms. Uh, we've got a departure board as well. Ooh, okay. I do like these. Right. So what we're going to go ahead and do, I think I'm going to go ahead and place it here so that when people are coming in for now at this basic sta station, they actually get to see some train information. So let's go ahead and cancel that. We've got a piano. Um, we've got uh, ticket gates as well. Do we get a selection of those? No. Uh, work tops, bushes. We've got shop signs. Uh, we've got barriers. We've got a duck. Every train station needs a duck. Okay, so we're going to place a random duck right there for now in the middle just to confuse people. Okay, and again, we've got a bunch of unlockables as well, which by the looks of it, we've got quite a good bunch of stuffs. So let's go back down. Let me go back into build mode. Um, what other shops did we have? We've got a sandwich shop now as well, which is pretty, pretty epic. Now, I don't really obviously like the layout of this, but I think for now, as long as it works, it works. So I'm going to go ahead and place down a sandwich shop. 
for anyone who needs those delicious sandwiches. I've got to go ahead and cancel and obviously we get a bunch of other shops there as well, right? We've got different types of flooring by the looks of it. We've got stairs, so we can obviously uh, work on our uh, station layout. We've got carpet stairs? I don't think I'd like carpet stairs. Probably get a bit manky very, very soon. Um, right, and we've got loads of different things. Ramps, we've got loads of stuff. So I, I've got a feeling we're gonna have access to a lot of different builds here. We've got uh, wooden fences, we've got handrails, we've got brick slopes, we've got the full works, which at the minute, I think looking over this side, we could probably do with a little bit of handrail stuffs because I have just nearly fell off. So have we got any basic stuffs? We've got some basic handrails on the go here. Yeah? So we've put a bunch of these there just so our people don't start train hopping along the um, along the way. Right, one there. Can we actually rotate and put some going down as well? Will that actually work going down? Right, it does there. Let me... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm making a right mess of this. Right, okay. Can we delete that? We can. Okay, so we've got a handrail going there. Let me go back to um, walls. And it was this handrail here, wasn't it? So can I kind of get that going down? And it is kind of connecting all the way as well. That is so awesome. Right, can I get one last one there? Okay, that's slightly bigger than what I'd like it, but no, to be honest, that kind of works, that kind of works. Okay, so let's do this side over the out, otherwise that will absolutely do my head in. But I like the way it, it, it does this. So, let me try and choose maximum concentrations here to try and get this last little bit of handrails on the go. So at least we've got, no, we've got some safety going on in the station, which Kim, if you're watching, we're okay, we're all good, okay, we're, we're, we're good. It's, it's good for a start, isn't it, Kim? Okay, because uh, I believe health and safety is coming very, very soon. Now, uh, yeah, again, this little bit here will do my head in. So let's go ahead and get that last little bit of handrail on the go. Now, again, it's not it's not amazing, and I know it looks a bit strange, but I'm just experimenting at the minute, okay? Just experimenting. And we've got a bunch of prefabs as well. To be honest, I would probably go for the bridge walls as well, because it would just make life so much easier. And, uh, yeah, I've missed handrails going down there. But I won't say any more on that one. So we've got a lot of basic stuff. So we have got a shop as well, uh, which we can go ahead and expand the plot. Um, extra height. We've got a classic pack. Extra platforms. Funky floor, and that is up my street. Absolutely up my street as uh, as time goes on. And it looks like we can go ahead and buy a bunch of cashies and stuff as well. Sleeper train. That sounds pretty epic. So yeah, it, we we we're basically we have a couple of options. I'm able to kind of experiment with a few basic things. Obviously, we know what we've got accessible to us. There's a bunch of other things that we can get as we progress in time with the game. I really, really want to have a quick look at that over there and see what the crack is with that. So what I do like one thing as well is the, I know it's completely like randomly generated times, but the way these times, yeah, no, does that five, four, three, two, one. Is that actually on platform one? I think it actually is. Are those times like legit? It's kind of coming down in seconds. I think it is, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna wait for the next choo-choo to come in. What are people thinking so far? I wish there were more to look at while I wait for my train. Well, obviously, we've only just started in the game. We have just got the bare basic um, station going at the minute. Now, what I'm thinking is there's a couple of options where we can go with this. Oh, it's just, <laughs> it's just took me onto the bridge. Right, okay, I'm gonna kind of jump onto this steam train when it leaves. I should have, oh, get on. Right, successful, there we go. There's a couple of options that I can do with this. We can either work with the station that we've got. There is a, I mean, I need to see how big the expansion, the expansion, the expansion is. I think it is just gonna be where that kind of ridge is with the, um, with the area that we've got. We can buy the expansion game pass and kind of work with the default one that we've got and expand it there. Now, I know Little Rock is gonna thoroughly enjoy playing this game. 
uh, looks like we've got a bunch of other peeps. See the way this area is like that? I think that will be the plot that we've got to work with. I've got a feeling we can't expand any more than that. So I'm going to feel quite restricted with the space to work with. Now, if I was to buy the expansion game pass, we're going to have more room to actually play with. And I think if I wrote Little Rock in, well, this looks cool. This looks so cool. Now, if there's one thing that me and Little Rock do like, it's um, getting out and about a bit more on um, Choo Choo Trains. And we, over time, we have seen a lot of stations, believe me, a lot of stations. And especially in Liverpool, where I'm from, we have a wide variety of different types of stations. We've got big stations, we've got a terminal station, we've got a, um, we've got kind of like a, a parkway station, access kind of to the airport. So what I'm thinking is the other option is that we kind of demolish the plot that we've got and we start from the ground up. I need to kind of see what this dude's got on the go here. See, this This is so awesome. See, it's just... The possibilities are endless, aren't they? Well, with what we've got in terms of what's in the uh, in the menus here. We've got a massive departure board there. I love it. And this this dude here is just built right the way around as well. It's so cool. So cool. Can we like this? Hopefully we can. This dude's got 8 out of 10. Right, okay. Do, will this like... I think this is just going to like the game. It'd be good if it'd be like Theme Park Tycoon. We can actually go ahead and like the person's station. If there is a way of doing that, I apologise to this dude because I would have 100% gone and liked this station. I love the way they've done the, the roof and everything as well. So, yeah, I think we understand the basics of the game. These people are stuck. And uh, I think the way forward is that work with what we've got or demolish, bulldoze the whole thing and start from the ground up. And I think if we did that, I'm gonna go ahead and do that with Little Rock because he's gonna have some epic ideas and I know we'll wanna do it off uh, one of the stations that we've visited many, many times as well. So, what's your thoughts on this game? Like I say, bear in mind, it's 35 Robux to access the game and it is an early access at the minute as well. I just wanna say a massive thank you to Bun for suggesting the game as well. I like the vibe, it's trains, it's choo-choos. I am definitely, definitely gonna be go ahead and working on this. So if you would like to see another episode of this, then please let me know in the comments below and uh, let me know what you think we should do. Work with what we've got or completely bulldoze and work from the ground up. If you did like this video, then please make sure to like it and subscribe -y. But until the next time, my friends, take care. Bye-bye.